everyone. Welcome to this new episode of our Student Spotlight series, where we are able to showcase some of the work our students have been doing. I'm Charlotte. I'm one of the outreach coordinators here at CCIR, and it's our pleasure today to have Duru with us, who did one of our Future Scholars Program courses. So firstly, can you just introduce yourself? So tell us where you're from, um, what year you are in school, and then which course you did. Uh, my name is Deji Excel. I live in Turkey. I go to school here as well. I go to noon school, 12th grader, and I took the Regenerative Medicine and Stem Cell uh, Research course in here. Great. And then can you tell us, um, just kind of give a synopsis of what the course was about? The course was generally like going in more into regenerative medicine, stem cells, and tissue engineering with uh, scaffolds, with like hard tissue engineering, uh, bone tissue engineering, like went through all of them in depth and like talked about them part by part, like in a real lesson, uh, such as IPS cells as well. And it was like giving an overview of tissue engineering and how that stem cells can be used to generate organs and like how it can be beneficial in the future. Great. And then what interested you in taking this course? I'm really interested in biotechnology. I always wanted to do it in university as well. And I have done research about it. I have went to summer camps and everything. And I wanted to get into this course because it gave more of an insight. And like stem cell research is what I'm like, most interested about. And it was giving more detailed course with able to reach more professors and like more knowledgeable persons and so I wanted to try it out and it wasn't how it was really nice I really had fun learned a bunch of new things and I really liked the course great um and then had you had experience with um regenerative medicine before CCIR uh no I didn't Okay, so this was kind of your first step to see our first experience with it. That's cool. Um, so we're going to shift to discuss your specific research project. So can you tell us um, the title of your paper and then give a synopsis of what your what you researched? Uh, my research paper was from practice name was from practice to uh, promise to practice benefits, challenges, and enchantment strategies for endoskeleton stem cells. Uh, I have not known anything about IPS cells before this course and when I learned it it was so interest I was so interested about it because um as you know stem cells are undifferentiated cells and normal cells are just differentiated cells and the reason like it's IPS cells is laboratory made stem cells so they take normal cells from a tissue that is differentiated and adds the chemical factors which are um, some factors to change the cell to stem cells. So it just t takes back the process and you can differentiate the stem cell back to whatever you like to generate tissues, organs, and for research as well. So it's such an interesting field where it's a bit new as well. And it was really interesting and I really loved the topic, so I just wanted to get in there and research it about it. And I talked about like how can it benefit us in the future, the research field as well, because with uh, research and like with stem cells in hand, we don't need like embryo usages and everything, so ethical usages of them. But like the challenges and drawbacks, they have risks, like uh, all of the things does, and like how to improve those like risks, like take them away like how can we reduce those risks as much as we can and so my research was talking about all of those things great um and then what were your research methods did you do a systematic review i did a, like a general review i read a bunch of uh papers and then like because all of the papers i have seen was old older than like it was like older than five years or so. So I wanted to like do a new one and the like brand new information that is like collected have been so far. And so it will have contain all of the information that has been got from all of the research over the years. And then what were your um, key findings of the paper? Key findings were that 
they're they they're quite expensive because there is like so much method and it takes quite a lot of time and the efficiency of it is quite low so there those are really like drawbacks as well so there's like methods to improve that and like the steps if like to reduce steps it will cost less less time like more beneficial but what about the risk how can it increase it and all of those things were the findings and they were quite interesting and really fun as well and then um just in general with your findings did it maybe change any perspectives you had related to the topic uh besides like how interesting it was because um all of the things that ha I have learned, I'm really interested about science. And every time I learn about it, I get even more interested in it. And it had a lot of like, I have a lot of it, done a lot of in-depth research. And it was quite interesting to learn all of those things and how things work. How did they come up with this and everything? Uh, it just like made my love for science even bigger. <laughs> That's great. Um, so now we're going to shift just to discuss your general experience with CCIR. So firstly, can you tell us what your experience was like in the program doing a high level research project like this as a high school student um, with a subject that you hadn't had previous experience in? It's actually wasn't that hard that I would have imagined because uh, our teachers are like professors and like bunch of research so I thought it would be I was intimated about it and I was a bit worried if I like I'd, if I don't know anything but they were really helpful they were mentoring us uh they were like helping us to the courses was engaging like we had um activities to do some like few tests that was like fun and engaging and it was really nice and I already have like new couple of informations from there due to my older experiences with like non-technology and medicine courses I have done so I knew like pretty much few stuff in the course and so it was really beneficial for me to learn a few more information as well as we like learn how to write an official review paper which was really nice and we learned how by renders worked so I had experiences on doing that so I can put like to make an image like a biological image to put it in a review paper as well we learned those in the courses and I did them in my review paper as well so it was uh engaging and it was helpful for our like project at the end which is our review paper Great. And then what was your, what was the research process and experience like compared to papers or projects that you, that you did in high school? It's actually pretty uh, similar because I'm doing IB and we have to write uh, a paper for each of our subjects. So like for biology and chemistry as well, I have similar, I have done similar things, but they're more like lab reports because like we would research about something and then write it about like what what were the observations what was the hypothesis and this is more like a literature review and everything and but other than that it was similar and I was I had experiences in writing uh those kind of like papers so it was easy but fun at the same time and I really was really fun great and then um what was your experience like? So for those listening, our Future Scholars Program course is our group course. Um, we do cap each course at five students, but can you tell us what your experience was like working with those other students? Did you have a full class? Uh, we had full class. We were five people. Uh, it was a small class, so it was really fun. And we got to like talk and engage with another one another because like the first half was just learning and the second half was we were like researching and talking about those research in class so we had like opportunities to research talk about them and how to like read papers as well in there because like we were going on with the papers so we saw like okay this is how to read this and how to analyze the graphs or like the images that is presented in the review papers uh, we got to learn all of that engage communicate with all of us and the thing interesting was that we were like all across the world so even though the timelines were really different uh we all had like managed to make up a time and 
talk about science and like seeing everyone being interesting in this field was really nice experience. Great. And then, um, again, we really like to emphasize the aspect of mentorship in our programs as opposed to the tr traditional teacher role where our mentors don't just transfer information to you on on transfer information onto you as a student, but really guide you through your own um, learning process and discoveries. Can you tell us what your experience was like with your mentor and then with your TA as well um, as you moved through the first more traditional teaching half of the course into the latter more research oriented half of the course? Uh, during our course, our teachers were always like there for to help us like in every beginning of every class they like said if you have any questions like don't mind to ask like we were there to help you and like whenever you had a question they were like really like helping us to understanding step by step and everybody has a different way of understanding and they were like really mindful of that and they were like trying to teach everyone in the way they will understand because some people understand it literally some people understand it with like visuals and everything so it was a combination of all of that and they were like so helpful for us to understand everything and everything thoroughly as well. So uh, they were really helpful with us. They were like supporting us through everything and like helping us learn, like ha making sure that we learn all of those things accordingly as well. Great. And um, then just those last few questions. Um, firstly, has the course given you any insights into your future at all? Do you think it's informed or shaped how you think of your path moving forward? Uh, yes, I'm more like confirmed I'm doing biotechnology at this point because it was really interesting. And what meanwhile, when I was doing the course, my grand grandmother uh, got burned and her skin got burned. So we they were uh, he was she was in the hospital for a few days and got needed to get stem cell treatment and everything and I grew I was learning about it and I was like oh I know these things and it really made me like engage with the class as well and it's like if I do this in the future I will be helping people because this is my main goal I want to help people if I'm in this field and I want to be like touching people's lives and like help, be helping them so it really encouraged me to go on with this field and research and uh, come up with the findings to help people do much more research and everything. That's great. And it's great that you were able to get this kind of academic experience to couple your personal experience. Um, and then the last question for you, what would you say to someone who has asked you what the value of doing a project or a program like this is, especially for a high school student? I think doing a research program like this would encourage them or like make them see how will they like the field because this is more like a course where you will see undergraduate courses so you will like know do you like this field or not are you ready for this or like is it for you you know because it's like a small course that you can finish in a few months so it just like shows insight of the field and for someone who is not like doesn't know what they want to do in the future, it can be helpful for them to see if they like the course, if they like this that field, and it can be like helpful for them to decide what they want to do in the future. I think that's great advice. Um, so thank you so much for chatting to me and congratulations again on your nomination to our Spotlight series. Thank you.